It is speaking. So sharing that information with other people, right? So, and so what is the simplest form of information technology? So, so, okay. So we talked about, we talked about, yes, information. So here is a, this is a data distribution system, right? The radio. So you mentioned the radio, okay? Okay, and you were some six years old, but I think you were, I think you were younger. When did you first encounter information technology? Uh, I, you know, so this, what is this? Is, see, this is this data distribution. This is data storage. Okay, there is information all over this. Marketing is information. In fact, from the moment you were born, there was lots of information. There was the radio, even when you weren't paying attention. What we do with most information is ignore it. That's what you were doing when you were two months old. You were ignoring the whole information around you. So because there is too much information, but we have to ask ourselves, what is information? And ignoring it. Okay, you know Mr. Newton. Apples, apples have been falling from trees for thousands of millions of years. The question is, are we paying attention? It's about the thinking. Okay, asking the question, why is the apple falling? So we have too much information from our very beginning of our life, and we're ignoring most of it. We have to ask some questions about it. And, and here Mr. Einstein tells us, we don't even see the apple. Whether you can observe a thing or not depends on the theory which you use. It's the theory. We have to have ideas. We have to be observing and having ideas and questions. Next. Okay, so what were we just practicing? We were learning that we need to question this question. We don't know what information technology is. We don't know who we are. We don't even know our own experiences, really. Um, we need to keep asking questions. We need to define terms and to propose theories. Okay, what is it? And, of course, we learn better together, everyone. We learn better together, right? Other people can make you think about things you didn't realize you had. Okay, so we'll look at a little short history of information technology. Okay, so the beginning of information technology, right? So, so Moses and the first tablet downloading data from the cloud, okay? So we've had information technology forever, okay? It was very simple, but it's getting better. We had the scroll. Now, I don't know, have any of you ever used a scroll? When someone says, turn to page 44, it takes a long time. So one of the big advances in information technology was the development of the codex, what we think of as the modern book, where you can go to page 44 very quickly. Christians, it was the Christian movement, early Christianity that developed the codex because they wanted to be going to passages in the Bible, the new technology. Okay, and then movable type, little letters that you can move, and the printing press. So when, when does this come, okay? Let's ask. Okay, let me ask you. Next. So movable type. So who, who invented the printing press? Who invents this? People? People. Yeah, good answer. Okay. Who, who invented the printing press? So, okay. Jogan uh, Gutenberg. Johann Gutenberg, great answer, great answer. Let's, well, when we have a question, what do we do? We go to, to Google, of course, okay. So who, who founded the printing press? And we see the answer here, Ivan Federov. What do you think? Uh, you know, everybody in Lviv knows Ivan Federov created everything. Uh, he was first in Ukraine, but not in the world. Hey, so are you saying Google is not telling the truth? What's the problem? The wrong question. The key 
You're not, is not the answer. It starts with the right question. We have the wrong question. So let's ask the right question. Okay. What do you think? Is this okay? Okay. Who invented the printing press? And now we get the authorized answer, Johann Gutenberg. What do you think? What do you think? Read this. Go, 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 go. God, no, no. <laughs> You're Emma. So if we read this, we suddenly see that he created, oh, Yevropetsky sponsor. Oh. So yeah, we need to be reading and thinking critically. Already the, the answer tells us that it's not the answer. We have to be questioning the questions, questioning the answers. So Johann Gutenberg, goodbye. Okay, now the real answer, I don't know if you can see it, is Bi Sheng. Okay, these are little movable wooden blocks. This is the inventing of the printing press. Okay, so, so the problem is that there's lots of information in the world, but it's not always right. Okay, next. Okay, so in any case, we then start to develop mass production, more and more books. The information age starts someplace in the 20th century. We start to have too much information. And now we call it because the internet has, digital age has completely created more too much information. Next. Okay, in one minute, one minute in the internet, you, I know you probably can't read this because the, the screen is too light, right? So there's 18 million text messages, okay? 187 million emails, okay? YouTube, right? And whatever, some of you are probably contributing to this right now, okay? So one minute, so there's, there's just, we're, we are creating information at a huge rate. Okay, and what happens in an internet year? The amount of data doubles. <sighs> Too much information. 90% of all the data in the world was created in the last two years. Too much data. Next. Okay, the biomedical sciences. Over a million new publications every year in biomedical, biology and medicine. Can you read a million articles each year? No. Let's say you read one each day. Okay, working day, 250. So, and there's a million things of which, what percentage is correct? Okay, if 10% is wrong, if 100,000 are wrong, and that's what you're reading? Too much information, quantity and quality. Okay, the large, the Hadron Collider, any of you? What is the Hadron Collider? Where? In, okay, in Switzerland, okay. So, and it's producing a petabyte of data per month. What's a petabyte? A petabyte is? I know. A petabyte, so it's 15 zeros. One and 15 zeros. Okay, that's just one thing. Here's the world. We measure exabyte. Exabyte is a gigabyte of gigabytes, okay? And you can see that data out of control, the digital university is in the digital universe and it's going too big, too much data. Next, okay, and uh, it's not just a problem of quantity, there's a problem of quality. The links inside the internet don't work. The files decay. We think we have data. Have, have any of you ever lost some data? So, so data, data is created and then data decays. The data gets lost. And that's why, as I told you, go back. The, the vice president of Google says, if you love your photographs, print them out. Because digital will not always last. Next, okay, or here, Harvard Medical School. Half of what we teach you during four years of medical school is going to turn out to be wrong or irrelevant. So the same, is that the same for you? So, you know, this whole idea about data, the ZNO, terrible idea, okay? 
This is all about trying to get information when we have too much information. We need to, how do we work with information? It's not just digital information. It's also books. People are still printing books. You know books, yes? Okay. People are printing books, over, over a million books each year. And most of them are not digitalized. Okay, most of them are not online and available. Millions of new books, okay? So there's too much data. What are you going to do? How are you going to, are you going to, remember, are you going to learn all this? You've come to the university to learn. What's your strategy for all this, this flood of this hurricane of information? Next. Okay, also, besides books, we have video and audio. Petro is making data every day. Okay. Now, who do you know? Can you do you know this picture? Can you recognize? So this is this is a young a, his, a young historian. This is 1992. This is Boris Gudziak. He come from Harvard. Young historian interviewing priests from the underground church, because in the Soviet times it was dangerous to keep information. So all your information, you don't write it on paper, you keep it here. And so this, this was the way to get information. And of course, it's more and more today, audio and video, too much information. Okay, and then how do we store it? Huge data storage systems, huge, expensive, Amazon, other servers, inside that just endless data. What are you gonna do with that? What are you going to do with that data? So more data, quantity problem, more data than we can preserve, more data than we can analyze. And data storage is not permanent. It's disappearing. <sighs> OK. And once upon a time, so a thousand years ago, to make a book, you had to hire an expert, someone like a lawyer who would work for a year to make a book. It cost a book, cost the same as the house. Okay, books were, information was expensive. Now, information is cheap, very cheap. All of you have on your phone huge amounts of information. Okay, so what does this mean? If Analysis, ideas, that is what we want from you. Information, okay, you can find information. There's too much information. What are you going to do with it? Analysis and ideas, that's your job, okay? And if you have so much information, what is your strategy? Komanna Pratsa, okay? You'll hear a lot about that this week, teamwork, okay, working together. Okay, because there's too much for you to do by yourself. How, you need a team. How big of a team do you need? Question to think about. And you need to analyze, sort, and express those ideas. That's what we need to be doing. Okay, so now let's talk about some strategies for learning. So, you know, why do we care about data? Is that our priority? Not really. Data, what is data? Data is just, you know, the first step. Data, from data you build information, from information you build knowledge, and from knowledge you build wisdom. You know, data, data is just symbols. What we really care about, at least I care about, I think you care about, is wisdom. The big, big, big picture, okay? What's the difference between these things? So, and you, data, just symbols and information. Information is the ZNO, right? You can process who, what, where, when. Okay, short, multiple choice answers. Okay, but knowledge, knowledge is bigger. Knowledge, what is useful? How, how does this happen? How, you know, and wisdom, why? And, and then the important, the important questions in life, okay, are not data questions. They are wisdom questions, okay? 
So we want to move up from data, okay? So to information, we, so knowledge, wisdom. That's what, and it, yeah, what's the name of this building? This is the, the Church of Holy Wisdom, right? So wisdom, big idea here. Okay, next. Okay, what is our path from data to information to knowledge, etc.? Okay, so three idea, three things for you. First, you need to find ideas. How do you find an idea? In books. In books, do you find in books? Do you find ideas? You can. It, it's the idea. Is the it's an experience. You encounter some idea that's different from you. You think one thing, and the book says something new or different. So from books, but also from in, from people, but also from experiences. Apple, you know, watching apples fall from trees and thinking about it. So, you know, sitting in your room is one way, but you're most likely to get ideas if you go to the library, you go out to the park, if you do things. Doing things gets you ideas. Then you need to write and rewrite those ideas, work on them, multiple versions, and improve them, and then teamwork to test them. Okay, these different stages. Next. Okay. I didn't mention computers. Why? Because computers are useless. Pablo Picasso tells us computers are useless. All they give you are all they give you are answers. And we are interested in questions. Questions will generate answers. Answers will not generate questions. Questions are more powerful. Okay. So the old method, I think you know this method. Lecture, student. Exam. Okay. You did well, but now we have, okay, you're in the university, new method. It starts with you. So what is your experience? What are your ideas? What is, what have you, are you paying attention to the world around you? Are you thinking? What interests you? You're not going to spend, write 20 pages about something that doesn't interest you. What interests you? What are you seeing? Get an idea. You get input, books, teachers, other input. Then you, you write a draft, Trinetka. Okay, correct. And then another version, writing, rewriting. Okay, but it starts with you, then ideas, then multiple versions. Okay, this is what goes on with teamwork involved. So these are the stages, but it starts with you and you thinking and your critical thinking. Okay, so we want to get from your experience to... Wisdom, right? So started with paying attention to your own lives and working as a team and community for that. Okay, so now we're going to do a little exercise. We're going to practice this learning method. So let's say you have to write a formal letter to the rector of the university, Father Bogdan Prach. Now, you know, in America, you could write, Dear Bogdan, but this is Ukraine. You have to write a formal letter. You have to write... Same with the titles, and you have to write to him, Pobatkovi. Okay? Everything with middle name, formal, formal. So, so you, I want you all to work in some groups here. So some of you, some of you will have some phones or something, maybe. You know? So you have any case, I'm sure that you can find the answer to this question. I'm sure in one minute, what is the middle name? What is the father's name of Bogdan Prach? Okay, good. You have one minute. Work in teams. It'll be better. Okay. Are you timing? Are you timing this? Or, uh, I... By seconds. Already. You, you can use any strategy you want. Use any strategy you want to get information, right? To get this. this. What? Okay. We have a winner. <laughs> I would like to ask you the father's name of Bhadan Prah. That's the best answer. Uh, why am I here? Why are there teachers here to help you? You're studying, you're thinking about things without, I said, teamwork, people, any strategy. Yes, 
So Bogdan Pavlovich Prach, why didn't you ask me? Yes, thank you. Okay. So very good. I told you within one minute. You know, it doesn't take that long. You can, you can solve lots of questions. Now, obviously, I could always tell you, think about it. I could say, you know, ask Petro. I could tell you lots of answers. But in your strategy, it won't work all the time. But among your strategies should be consulting the teachers. Get to know the teachers and everyone in the university. Very good. Next. Okay. So the... Uh, Okay, some practical tips. So, how do, okay, so now, you, now we need to talk to some real experts. We're gonna have to talk to Velodia here. Okay, next. Okay, you need to learn, okay, you need to learn the basics. You've got to learn to know all the tools. And I mean, so Word, you use Word or Excel probably. But I mean, do you know all the options? Do you know what each little thing, because I see people wasting time because they're not using it, things that are easy to do. Study these tools, basic tools. You should know all the options in this, this kind of tool, okay? Volodya, Volodya, hello, stop looking at your phone. Okay, Volodya, tell, tell, us, tell us about what do we, how, how do I find out about Excel? How do I find out about these tools? Uh, okay, uh, but, well, but stop English, yes. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, Volodya knows English very well, but I asked him to speak in Ukrainian because some people must have a lecture bomb. Thank, thank you so much. But I will convey a little bit of English, Ukrainian. Так, я мене звати Володимир, і я працюю в IT відділі університету, керую сектором техпідтримки, і зараз коротенько, трошки швидше, ніж Джефрі, розкажу вам, які сервіси надає IT відділ для вас. От. І е, перше тут таким великим виділено портал UQEDUA. Це такий маленький сайт, там є коротко описано ті всі сервіси, які ми надаємо, крім того, на цьому сайті ви можете написати своє звернення як в IT-відділ, так і в будь-який інший відділ університету. І е, воно попаде в нашу систему обробки звернень, і це звернення буде призначено якомусь інженеру чи особисто мені, і ми розглянемо це звернення якнайшвидше, допоможемо вам вирішенні вашої проблеми. От. Ось так виглядає портал. Так, погано видно трішки, тому е, більше розповім. Ви, коли прийшли в університет, вам вже створили ваш університетський аккаунт, обліковий запис. Всі вже змогли зайти в нього? Так, там вам надсилали вже листи. Ну і, відповідно, найперший, найголовніший сервіс – це є електронна пошта, яка в нас розміщена на серверах Google. Відповідно, Google її, можна сказати, повністю не керує, там нічого не пропаде, все розміщено в хмарних сервісах. Відповідно, вона є досить надійною, вона має захист від спаму, від різних е, спроб е, зламу цієї пошти. Тому, е, крім того, щодня е, відділ інформації університету надсилає на цю пошту вам важливу інформацію про те, які події відбуваються в університеті, які ви можете відвідати. Yes. Right. Very important activities. Так. Ну, Джефрі називає це спамом, але, ну, тим не менше, це, це, це важливо, так. От. Далі, отримавши університетський аккаунт, ви можете скористатися таким сервісом, так? Е, я спробував зайти на цей сайт, вона написала вибору помилку і написала не знайдено. А чи ви залоговані в університетську поштову скриньку? Ні. Тільки... Тіль, тільки маючи університетську поштову скриньку і використовуючи відповідний логін і пароль, ви зможете зайти на цей внутрішній сайт університету. Їдемо далі. Е, маючи, е, маючи сервіс Google, ви можете використовувати безлімітно Google Drive. Крім того, використовувати такі сервіси, як Google Docs, тобто е, Google е, таблиці, Google документи для спільної роботи. Спільна робота полягає в тому, що ви, коли ви створили документ в Google Docs, ви можете надати доступ будь-кому з ваших колег, знайомих, і ви можете спільно працювати над цим документом, не заважаючи один одному, не пересилаючи ці листи один одному. І навіть в цьому ж документі видно, хто в якому рядку працює. 
це дуже зручно і, знову ж таки, ця інформація нікуди не пропаде. Просто так. Оскільки це знаходиться в хмарних сервісах, ми рекомендуємо поменше використовувати такі як речі, як флеш-носії, переносні жорсткі диски, тому що це все має властивість ламатися. От. Е, далі. Маючи університетський обліковий запис, кожен працівник і студент університету може зайти на сайт Microsoft і завантажити для себе ліцензійну версію Microsoft Office 2016 і встановити її на 5 особистих пристроїв. Так? Чи вже відкритий доступ, бо пробували буквально пару днів назад і писала, що помилка, переговорі з Кіль, вашим. Кілька днів ще не було, тому що повинна була відбутися синхронізація. Ми ще раз це все перевіримо і після того ви та, можете скористатися, завантажити ліцензійний офіс на 5 своїх пристроїв, домашній комп'ютер, робочий, телефон, планшет і використовувати повний пакет Microsoft Office 2016. Далі. Обліковий запис е, університетський, не знаю, чи ви вже пробували чи не пробували, дозволяє вам залогуватися в університетський Wi-Fi і, і отримати набагато більшу швидкість, ніж е, мережа, яка називається UQGest. Для цього ви просто використовуєте свій логін, вводите свій пароль, і воно під'єднює, надає вам швидкість до 20 мегабіт на одного клієнта. Тут навіть тут ви можете звернути увагу, такі от круглі штучки, це є наші, наші Wi-Fi мережі. Ця мережа, якщо ви залогуєтеся, вона повинна працювати в будь-якому корпусі університету, на будь-якому поверсі, під тим самим логіном паролем. Вам не треба наново під'єднюватися, не треба наново шукати мережу, вона повинна працювати. Так, в нас е, в зв'язку з відкриттям центру Шептицького були деякі переробки, вона може деколи трішки погано працювати, але ми докладаємо всіх зусиль, щоб це виправити і щоб все було гуд. Е, так, Oh, можна... Did we talk about Microsoft? Yes, Microsoft Planner, Microsoft. all Microsoft Office. Крім того, крім того, якщо ви будете користуватися онлайн версіями Microsoft, там є такі речі, як Microsoft Planner, що дозволяє теж організувати командну роботу над проектами, слідкувати за виконанням цих проектів крок за кроком, дуже зручно. Це Google Docs, про який я вже говорив. Right. And for example, this presentation. Did I do all this presentation? No, I'm not an idiot. No, I, you know, the teamwork, you know, and so this is what is expected. You can, there are lots of resources to be doing things in a team, okay? So, yeah. Well, Course what's, what's management this? software. Yeah, what's that? Sistema CMS, Sistema Elektronogo Navchania, which works in the university, is now for the entry of this system, you can use the university login and password. В цій системі ви будете проходити е, ваші навчання. Викладачі туди завантажили е, матеріалів для, м- матеріали для навчання. Там ви будете проходити тестування по навчанню, відповідно, отримувати результати своїх, е, свого навчання в цій системі. Теж е, наш відділ співпра... над цією системою співпрацює з Центром інноваційних технологій, який є в університеті, інноваційних навчальних технологій. Там є адміністратор, відповідно, е, Будь-які so, проблеми, okay. звернення. And so what address? Where do I find this? Ah, CMS UQA. Or, or if I want to find all this stuff, I go to Portal. And also Portal. Okay, cool. Okay, uh, let's say I want, to, I want to reserve a room, you know. I like to work in teams, you know. So the six of us, we need to find a small room to work in. How, where do I find a room? Так, є... Також в університеті система резервування аудиторії. Е, використовуючи Google календар і залогуючи свій обліковий запис, ви можете створити подію, запросити туди своїх колег і з переліку аудиторії вибрати вільну на той час аудиторію. Ви можете ну, забронювати її за собою, прописати параметри, які там вимагаються, тобто яка буде подія, хто буде присутній, контактний номер організатора. Після того відповідальна особа вам підтвердить цей запит, ну, тому що дуже багато може бути запитів на ту ж саму аудиторію, і вже виставляється пріоритетність цих подій. Вам підтвердиться цей запит, і ви можете прийти на охорону, сказати, в нас є зарезервована аудиторія, прошу дати нам ключ, відкрити і працювати в, в своїй команді над якимось проєктом, роботою, навчанням. 
Thank you. Okay. Next. Okay. What's this? Grammarly. So, Grammarly. Система uh, виправлення помилок, система коректного написання тексту Grammarly. Теж, маючи університетський аккаунт, ви можете зайти на сайт Grammarly.com, якщо не помиляюсь, і там залогуючись, ви можете встановити додаток для браузера чи навіть для Word, який, коли ви будете вводити якийсь текст англомовний, наприклад, воно буде вам виділяти ваші помилки, як граматичні, так і лінгвістичні, чи правильність розміщення розділових знаків, чи навіть побудову речень. Воно може вам підказати, як правильно це написати. Ми теж маємо співпрацю з цією компанією, і, відповідно, студенти університету мають доступ до цього, до цього сервісу. And again, I, at Portal, the link is at Portal, Uku, Edu, Ua. Yes. Кош. Так, так. Welcome. Okay. Next. Okay. So, so, okay. Okay. Oh, so maybe I'll, yes, let me say, like, so the library, you know, oh, 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 Thank you, Valoria. Okay, so lots of resources, okay? And again, you know, you should get to know these resources. We don't want to hear the excuse, oh, I'm sorry, I lost my paper. Your paper should have been online in a permanent storage in Google Docs, right? Oh, you lost your document. No, it's there, okay? So how many, okay, the library. We also have hard copies as well, the library. You saw, you met, you'll have a tour of the library this afternoon. Is that right, Valeri? I think this afternoon. So, how many books are in the U Uku library? <laughs> a, lot of, a, lo a lot of books. Okay. How many books? Um, choose a number. So, 5,000, 10,000, 50,000. Two million, good, good answer, two million. That's come back next year. No, so almost. So there's just, there actually, there's not so many books, really. There's 150,000, okay? But 150,000 is still a good start. If you read one book a day and you, are, you will be a student at the university for about 1,000 days. So you can maybe read 1,000 books or 2,000. Still, there will be more than you will need, okay? Plenty of resources. Go online at the, the, the online catalog. And there are also lots of electronic resources and digital resources too. Okay, next. And of course, you go online and you find these sources and there's lots of video. And of course, but electronic sources are, are not the end of it. You, you come across, you can come across lots of nice old manuscripts. You know, here in Latin, Incipit Epistola, Sancti Eronymi, Aponte. Rosamir? Oh, so just finding a source is not the end. You also need to learn languages, right? Obviously, and that's why I think, you know, many of you will have Latin this year, Greek, other languages, besides English, Spanish, French. So as a young person, learning languages is something much easier to do at your age than at my age. I encourage you to be learning as many languages as you can, okay? Plagiarism, plahiat. Okay, where, where, oh, did Lodi leave? Okay, we should have asked him about, it. okay, so the university has, has plagiarism software, okay, uh, huge databases that can check. Is this, has something that has been written, has it been written before? And this is useful for people who are trying to cheat and, you know, but that's not you, I know, okay. But sometimes people forget, they don't know. You think you are using your own words, you think you're using your own ideas, and you forget that you had this source. So this is very useful material for the writers themselves to see that, you know, just changing two or three words in a quote does not make it yours. 
We need to learn all about plagiarism. This year will, will be for you a number of lectures on plagiarism. And this software can help you learn how to improve your writing. Next, taking notes. Okay, how many of you have a notebook with you? Excellent. The answer, of course, is that everyone, you should always have some way of taking notes with you. Now, maybe, maybe that's an electronic device. Maybe that's paper. But, you know, you have ideas. And you're trying to write down your ideas. Not what I'm saying. But you need notebook to be writing down your thoughts, your ideas, your connections. Okay. okay. Always have some way of writing notes with you. Next. Okay, and so you can use programs, OneNote, Evernote. There are some good online programs. There is, I say, paper. Paper. Paper is very good, okay? You can take notes by hand online, too. Studies show that students have better test scores when they take notes by hand. Because the problem is, when, you're, when you start to just type notes, you just start to, your brain goes off, and you just become a stenographer, okay? Handwriting, you actually are synthesizing, analyzing, and paraphrasing. It's a better, a better system. And of course, you can be handwriting online on, on digital means. Okay, let's say, let's imagine that your hand is not so good right now, okay? You can use voice, dictation, lots of dictation programs, okay? I was testing. So here I tested Google. Google Translate. So let's, this is the mission statement of the Ukrainian Catholic University. So let's read it all together. Let's see how Google Dictation did. Okay? Are we ready? The Ukrainian Catholic University is an open academic. God, the common good and the dignity of the human person. What do you think? Any questions? Any questions? Forming, in, living in the Eastern Christian tradition and forming leaders to, to, what? To serve, does that make sense? What? Is to serve. Right, to serve. Okay. That's you all. You're leader, people, leaders who are going to serve, right? With professional excellence. Okay, so pretty good. Just one word off. Okay, dictation programs get better every year. Although I will tell you, since I've been doing a lot of dictation lately, Ukrainian names, not so good in Google uh, English. Okay, next. Okay, you could join a research project. There are different Naukovi Institute, different research institutes at UKU. They're doing projects too. So get involved. You, as an undergraduate, you can still be involved with research. So to summarize, you can use technology for everything you do, for getting ideas, getting sources, for taking notes, making presentations, making videos, sharing, publishing. So technology is not the answer, okay? But technology is a tool, and you should know your tools. Next. Okay, lots of productivity apps. There are lots of programs that can help you with time management, notes. Anybody, any, some favorite apps you want to mention? Do you use some productivity apps? Yeah, what do you like? Pomodoro. Pomodoro, okay. Why? What is Pomodoro? Uh, it is wonderful. Uh, you can use your time um, mm. more efficiently. Okay. Yes, okay. yes. Okay, fine. Other recommendations? Any? Okay, so in any case, there are lots of productivity apps. Okay, you should, again, I mean, among yourselves, probably be asking friends what they use and they like. Okay, next. Okay, Google Web. Again, many applications. Too many to mention now. Ask your friends what works. Next. Okay, so in the end, 
Again, it all comes back to you. What do you want to learn? Suppose you want to learn, let's say, a language. Okay. Okay. Lots of online flashcards, translation software, chat, you know. Are, are you all using technology for your language learning? Okay. Again, share these ideas with your friends. Learning languages is a big priority for young people. Should be. Okay. And, of course, iTunes U and Coursera. How many of you have tried or looked at courses online someplace? Okay. How many of you finished those courses online? Great, great. But it doesn't matter. It's just like a book, you know? When I open a book, it's not a contract. If I don't finish reading the book, the author will persecute me. No. Okay? You know, you know if, if, if I don't finish the book, the book failed. Not me failed, right? It's the same thing with these courses. You don't have to finish all these courses. But you should explore and you should know about the options online for Coursera. And Prometheus, any of you use Prometheus? Okay. Great. Yeah, we're big fans of Prometheus. One of the members, as you may know, the IT, one of the, the, the founding team for Prometheus works here. Okay. Uh, so, Mr. Mochanovsky. And, of course, one of the courses on Prometheus, Yaroslav Herzog. So, yeah, we're big fans of Prometheus. Um, okay. It's time. Time for the quiz. Okay. We're almost finished this presentation. Okay. Were you paying attention? We should question the, we learn better together. Our priority is, well, yes, both it's learning and to know, our priority is to know our priority. It's not the Nashi Priority. Okay, computers are useless. All they can give you answers. Okay, and the bonus question. Okay, next week, next week you'll know the mission statement, right? Okay, great. Okay, well, thank you so much. Let's, let's reinforce our ideas. If information is, does, is free and what's valuable, analysis and ideas, okay, and our strategy, we're going to be using Kumanda Pratsa and analysis and expression of ideas. Great, great, great. Okay, so I think you know by now we're focused on learning. We want to turn that into knowledge and wisdom, and we're going to do this together as a learning community. Uku is a learning community. Thank you very much. Remember, it's your education. I have my own this time, so you can grab it from me. Thank you very much. Буде ще цікавіше. Будете ще більше відкривати наш університет. Зараз ми маємо кілька невеличких технічних оголошень і після того розходимося на обід. Дайте нам хвилин 20-15, може до півгодини, щоб тут поміняти столи і так далі. Хлопці, якщо можете, то залишіться і допоможете волонтерам. Волонтери в чому? В білих футболках. Відповідно, можете до них приєднатися, щоб тут переформатувати Столову у нормальний розклад столів 